guys, so I'm here at my parents house to spend the holidays and I want to show you how to make eggnog and this is a really good uh, recipe that I found uh, last year I think and well I'm gonna make it for all the family and you're gonna see how I do it I'm actually gonna make uh, double the recipe because uh, we're five and this is supposed to last throughout the holidays so and we, we love it so well you're gonna need eight eggs uh, two cans of condensed milk um, milk, nutmeg, uh, vanilla extract, white sugar, and rum in a very low heat all you need to do is whisk together the yolks the eight yolks in this case and the condensed milk and you whisk it and let it heat up to 140 to 160 degrees and then you take it off the heat when it reaches uh, 150 you take it off the heat and let it cool stirring occasionally but this is the consistency that you'll get So when this is cool enough, all you need to do is, uh, while whisking all together, you gradually stir in the sugar and I'm adding two tablespoons of sugar. The idea is that this uh, is completely combined so you don't taste the ingredients separately then you add the vanilla the two teaspoons then the milk and I'm adding nine cups I'm gonna beat the egg whites until they form stiff picks and I'm gonna check back when they're done. Now all you need to do is to gently uh, stir the egg whites in the mixture So as you can see, this has a really, really creamy texture and what we do at my parents' house uh, regarding the rum 
is I add to this mixture the um, uh, regular amount of rum that this recipe asks for which is one fluid ounce per recipe so I'm gonna add two fluid ounces and it's uh, 60 milliliters and I'm gonna add uh, 60 milliliters of this awesome rum and this is a really old rum but it's amazing and I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup which is 60 milliliters and then when we serve our individual glasses uh, what we do is that we just add a bit more because let's face it 60 milliliters for this amount of eggnog well not enough at least in in my book and then you stir it again and it will always form this uh, kind of foam so don't worry because if you stir it and keep stirring it the foam will always come up and I really like it it's so tasty with the nutmeg on top oh and uh, what we do around the house and this is actually a pretty good tip if you're making eggnog for a lot of different people and with a big range of ages what you can do is actually not add any rum and then you keep a rum bottle next to the eggnog and you can put whichever amount you want it that's how we do it and works perfectly and this is it the final result bye mm.